Unbeknownst to most people, including the people who are actually living in the area, scientists have begun to conduct a secret experiment which involves shooting aerosols up into the sky in the hope of preventing global warming. Specifically, this is a solar geoengineering experiment right outside of San Francisco that's trying to create brighter clouds that would, in theory at least, reflect more sunlight away from the Earth. Here's how the experiment was described four days ago in the pages of Scientific American. Quote, The nation's first outdoor test to limit global warming by increasing cloud cover launched Tuesday from the deck of a decommissioned aircraft carrier in the San Francisco Bay. The experiment, which organizers did not widely announce to avoid public backlash, marks the acceleration of a contentious field of research known as solar radiation modification. The concept involves shooting substances such as aerosols into the sky to reflect sunlight away from the Earth. Now, it really is worth highlighting that this plan was not kept secret by accident. It wasn't that people just did not notice the flyers or they didn't hear the public service announcements or the social media posts. Instead, the researchers behind this experiment were intentionally keeping the local public in the dark in order to stave off criticism. And the reason we know this is because these researchers, they gave the New York Times exclusive access to cover the initial firing of the spray cannons from the ship. And in their report, here's what the New York Times wrote, quote, The idea of interfering with nature is so contentious that organizers of Tuesday's test kept the details tightly held, concerned that critics would try to stop them. Nothing breeds public confidence more than changing the weather without telling anyone. Regardless, to give you a bit of the specifics, this plan of theirs involves spraying trillions of microscopic salt particles up into the air in an attempt to make clouds more dense. This will, at least in theory, reflect more of the sun's light away from the Earth. Quote, the Coastal Atmospheric Aerosol Research and Engagement, or CARE project, is using specially built sprayers to shoot trillions of sea salt particles into the sky in an effort to increase the density and reflective capacity of marine clouds. Now, the secretive experiment is being led by researchers affiliated with the University of Washington, and the official name for this project, as was mentioned in this article right here, is the Coastal Atmospheric Aerosol Research and Engagement Project, otherwise known as CARE. And so, with this compassionate sounding name, alongside the fact that these researchers didn't bother to announce their plan to the public in order to avoid backlash, well, I'm sure that there's nothing to worry about. Although it is really worth mentioning that even among the scientists who think that this is a good idea, there is no consensus that changing the weather like this will not have unintended consequences. Quote, solar radiation modification is controversial because widespread use of technologies like marine cloud brightening could alter weather patterns in unclear ways and potentially limit the productivity of fisheries and farms. It could also lead to a catastrophic spike in global temperatures if major geoengineering activities were discontinued before greenhouse gases decreased to manageable levels. And by the way, it's worth mentioning that this plan did not come out of nowhere. For many years, Bill Gates, through his foundation, has been funding this type of research. And also two years ago, Joe Biden signed a measure into law which directed the Office of Science and Technology Policy to work alongside NASA on researching climate intervention. Quote, an article in MIT Technology Review reports the crux of the federal plan is to release tiny particles into the atmosphere that, theoretically, could reflect enough sunlight to slow down the Earth's warming. That is, again, at the federal level. Getting back to this California plan, though, initially, phase one of the plan is to release these microscopic particles atop the USS Hornet Sea and Airspace Museum over in Alameda, California, right there in the San Francisco Bay. This phase will go until the end of May. Afterwards, phase two will involve shooting these particles on a pier about a mile offshore in a coastal environment. Then, if phase one and phase two prove successful, well, perhaps the next phase of this geoengineering scheme will be done right in your own backyard. That is, of course, unless you happen to live in the state of Tennessee. That's because several days ago, the Tennessee state legislature passed a bill which bans all geoengineering projects like this within the state. This bill, it passed through the Senate as well as the state assembly and is now on the governor's desk awaiting a signature in order to fully become law. For your reference, this bill is called House Bill 2063. You can see it up on your screen. And here's what it says in relevant part. Quote, the intentional injection, release, or dispersion by any means of chemicals, chemical compounds, substances, or apparatus within the borders of the state into the atmosphere with the express purpose of affecting temperature, weather, or the intensity of the sunlight is prohibited, meaning that there will be no geoengineering within the state of Tennessee. But here's the most ironic thing about this particular bill. 
As we've discussed in today's episode, these geoengineering efforts are definitely happening. At the federal level, you have Joe Biden directing the federal government to work alongside NASA on researching exactly these things. At the local level, you have experiments currently being conducted, which are releasing trillions of these particles up into the sky, hoping to reflect sunlight. Bill Gates has been funding these research efforts for the last three years, at least through his foundation. But when a state legislature introduces a bill saying that these geoengineering efforts will not be allowed in the state, the media, in one loud voice, paints it as a nonsense chemtrail conspiracy theory bill. In fact, if you do a quick search online of this particular bill, you'll see well over a dozen articles saying exactly the same thing, that this bill is pushing the chemtrail conspiracy theory, even though the text of the bill does not mention anything regarding chemtrails. And even though the bill itself is only about one page long and it'll take you just a minute to read the whole thing, somehow the legacy news outlets got the message and have in one loud uniform voice been mocking this bill as a chemtrail conspiracy bill. And then those same journalists wonder why no one trusts the media anymore. Regardless, aside from Tennessee, the states of Minnesota, as well as Pennsylvania, recently had similar bills introduced into their respective state legislatures, pushing for a ban of geoengineering within the borders of their states as well. And funny enough, every one of those efforts in those particular states is also being tarred and feathered by the media as a chemtrail conspiracy theory. It's funny how it all works when you look beneath the surface. Regardless, if you'd like to go deeper into this particular subject, I'll throw my research notes down into the description box below this video for you to peruse at your own leisure. And then until next time, I'm your host, Roman from the Epic Times. Stay informed. Most importantly, stay free.